Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church in Hemet. I'm uh, glad that you came back to join me again this morning. I um, want to read a passage from Acts chapter 2. It says, When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men, from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Then they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Look, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how is it that we hear each in our own language in which we were born? This is uh, also called the birth of the church, this day when after 10 days of prayer and uh, seeking God, the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples of Jesus Christ. We call it the day of Pentecost. It's the 50th day. It's the day when they were all in one cord, accord in one place. And by the way, that's not a Honda. The accord means they were all getting along with one another. Wouldn't that be nice? And it says that there came this sound and like a, it sounded like a mighty wind, but the Holy Spirit is not a wind. The Holy Spirit's not a bird. The Holy Spirit is a person. He's the third person of the Godhead. He's the Spirit of God himself. And he came and filled this whole place, this sound. And it says that the Holy Spirit came to, upon each of them and gave them the ability to speak in a known language. In fact, they were remarked because they said, can't we hear them speak in our own language? And yet these are not our people. They're, they're, they, we should know our language. And that was a miracle because God enabled these disciples to speak and communicate clearly the message of God to the people that were gathered there so they could each hear clearly in their own language. Sometimes it says, some translation says tongues, but it says that they heard them in their own language. How is it that we hear each in our own language in which we were born? That makes it pretty clear what they're talking about. They're talking about a supernatural ability to communicate the gospel. Now you're listening to me today and I trust the reason you're still listening is you're hearing me in your language, which is English. And so um, I'm speaking to you as uh, a friend who is concerned about you and I want you to hear a clear word from God. The clear word from God for me today is this, God wants you to understand and to know him. He's not far away. He's very near each of us. He wants to communicate to you clearly, not to confuse you and not to make you feel like he is far away. He wants you to understand that he loves you and wants to have a relationship with you. And when you uh, seek after him, it says on the day that you seek after him with all your heart, you'll find him because he's really just waiting for you to reach out to him, okay? So today, you can do it right where you are. You can just reach out to God and say, Lord, I wanna know you, I wanna know the truth about you, and he will hear you in whatever language you speak, he understands all language, and he uh, will answer you and surprise you by answering you. So try it, okay? God bless you.